Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Razor Company's YouTube channel for a shaving chat this morning. And uh, today we're going to be using a soap from the 345 Soap Company called the Breakfast Club. And this is a sandalwood and amber scent. I would say it's heavier on the amber than it is the uh, sandalwood, but it's a very nice scent. It's a, uh, it's a good scent, uh, strong scent. I would say probably on a scale of 1 to 10, we're talking at least a 7 on this one. And uh, I also have the matching splash that goes with that. This is an interesting um, soap because, you know, there's a lot of Facebook groups out there. And um, some of them, according, uh, depending on the hobby, you know, they meet on a regular basis as a club, have discussions about their hobby and this and that. And this is one of those instances where there there is an actual uh, shaving club called uh, the Breakfast Group. And they requested that 345 develop a soap especially for them. And um, they meet on a regular basis. So this is the soap that was developed for the group called... Um, the Breakfast Club. And that's what we're going to be using today. We're also going to be, I'm going to change things up a little bit. You know, I normally use a, a Yates razor. Uh, today I'm going to use the Parker variant. Now I've had a few adjustable razors um, and I'm down to only two. Uh, I've got a Gillette Slim and I've got this Parker variant. I hardly ever use the Slim. In fact, I never use it. I I keep it because it, it's in really nice condition. But um, this is my favorite. The, the Parker variant is my favorite uh, adjustable out there. And um, budget-wise, it's, it's a very good price on this razor. You can pick this up at the razor company. It's $57 on their site. And that's hard to beat for, for a nice adjustable. Um, it's got you know, five um, adjust, different adjustments on it. And you can even go past five and go up if you want to, but I, that's not the way I use it. I always go with the setting three, if you can see that, on my first pass, and uh, I back down to setting two on my second pass. And that's plenty aggressive for me. So I'm going to be using that razor today with a... Um, um, well, Astra Green, my, my mind went blank. An Astra Green Blade, the Superior Platinum. Uh, really nice, smooth blade. For the brush today, I'm using a uh, Yaki 24 millimeter. Um, I don't know if you can tell or not, but that's that's a green, really dark green color. It's a pretty little brush. When I photo that brush, it never comes out green. It's always It always looks black, but this is, this is the brush I'll be using. Got a really good lather whipped up with this Breakfast Group soap. And I'll also be adding to the uh, aftershave splash a little bit of the Sterling unscented glacial because the uh, this splash is not mentholated, and I really like menthol, so I'll be doing that. And we're going to get lathered up here and start the shave. Hope everyone's doing fine. The Breakfast Group Soap is also available at the Razor Company. You can uh, go to their site, look it up, and find the soap. It's a very nice, long-lasting scent. You'll smell this all day if you use the soap in the after shave splash. And I know that's what a lot of people look for when they're when they're looking for a soap and splash. They like something that's going to last. We're going to go ahead and get started with the shave here. Warm the razor up just a little bit. And here we go. Now you'll notice this Parker has a lot of audible feedback. I like that. 
makes you know you're doing something. Can you hear that? I'm sure you can. I know I can. This is a really nice smooth razor. And today it's paired with a really nice slick soap. Now I would tell you, um, as I told you in the scent notes, it's sandalwood and amber, heavy on the amber. If you don't like amber, you probably won't like the scent, but I do like it. I don't really pick up much of the sandalwood. But I do not have the best nose when it comes to trying to pick out different scents that are that make up a soap. I'm not real good at that. But I do smell the amber in this one. But like I said, I don't I don't smell that much sandalwood. As far as adjustable razors go, like I said, I've had I've had a few. I've had I've got this one. I've had the Merker Progress. I've had the um, the uh, Pearl Flexi, and my uh, Gillette Slim. Now, I haven't had any of the more expensive adjustables. So I can't compare this to any of those. This is a pretty hefty razor. It weighs in at four ounces. Uh, still nothing close to the um, Pearl Flexi. That, that's a really heavy razor. It weighs in at like six ounces. But I do like this one. And when I'm not using my Yates razor, it's this one. And the one thing that I do have to be aware of since I do use the Yates a lot, is this one, the blade tabs are exposed just a little, whereas, I got a little nick right there, whereas the uh, Yates is not, they're not exposed. So I have to be aware of that because I have caught my nose a couple of times with blade tabs on different razors. Okay, that's the first pass done. Get ready to lather up here for the next pass. 
That is a nice scent. I, I can definitely smell it. My nose isn't that bad. You can pick up the soap and splash at the Razor Company. You can pick up the Parker variant at the Razor Company. I'd like to invite you to my YouTube channel, Randy Shaves. Stop in and you never know. You might you might enjoy it. If you do, I'd appreciate you subscribing. I know there's a lot of channels out there, so it's it's not easy to uh, decide which ones to watch. Okay, I'm going to show you here. Here's the adjustment. Now, now when you get a razor, I've got the graphite handle in this razor, and it comes with just a plain um, silver handle. But on the graphite, this little dot that is red here, when it the razor doesn't come with that red dot. You have to, I had to paint that in there. It comes just the same color as the handle. And I couldn't see it real well, so I, I put a little dab of red paint in there. So I'm dialing down to two. And another thing about this razor, like the Merker Progress, is you have to have this razor lined up properly the cap has to go on the right way if you'll see these marks you'll see a mark on the bottom and you'll see a mark on the top cap the other side has nothing so you have to be sure for this razor to operate properly these two marks have to be on the same side that's about the only thing you really have to remember about this razor but uh, like i said the progress is the same way and i don't understand uh how that design why that matters but it does trust me it won't it won't operate properly without having it that way now i'm on setting to for me personally that's plenty of aggress plenty of aggressiveness on this second across the grain and partially against the grain pass. I'll explain that in a minute. Now this is one place, my sideburn area, I always go against the grain. And that's just a, my preference. I like for that area to be smooth. So I go against the grain on that er that area. When I first started wet shaving, it took me a little while to learn my face because my hair grows in all different directions. Now going at this angle on my neck is against the grain also, so I do do a little bit of against the grain on my neck. But having this on the on setting number two, it's real comfortable. This breakfast group soap it lathers very well, like like the other three, four, five soaps that I've used. I haven't used many. But I have used a couple. There are no lathering problems. It's a stubborn little nick right there. And I, it's because I've nicked there before. I don't know what I do right there. I do something to cause that. 
I don't ever, I don't ever even feel it. I, it just shows up. This soap has really good slickness. I'm, I'm in, I enjoy that on this soap. To me, to, that's just almost a must for me. Of course, I like a really nice scent too, and I like a really nice lather, but. I'll trade all that for good slickness. Unfortunately, this is one that, that has that. If you're here for the first time, and, or if you're here for the second or third time and haven't subscribed to the Razor Channel YouTube uh, channel, the Razor, the Razor Company YouTube channel on YouTube, be sure and subscribe to this one because they have a lot of different interesting things on their channel. I, I look at it a lot. They have um, artisan spotlights. They have the shaving chats. They have instructional, some instructional videos that other shavers do. It's just an interesting channel to watch. And I like to support the Razor Company because they have a good selection of products. They have great customer service. That's what that's what reels me in usually with a company is their service. And the Razor Company has excellent service. Okay, that's the that's the shave. Now I'm going to uh, I'm going to wet my face so that I can use my alum. And we can see how good the shave was. And I tell you, I'm getting no feedback, even on that little nick, it's not burning. I, I figured I would feel that, but I'm not feeling it. So I had a good shave. And we'll let that, we'll let that uh, alum cook just a minute. And I'll rinse that off and we'll get on with this. I like to use alum. I don't know if everyone out there watching uses alum or not, but it really 
really helps my face and it also really tells me a lot about my shave. Now I told you that I like menthol. If you've ever watched my channel, you know that, that I do and you'll know that I use, the first thing I always use is Osage Rub just to get the coolness of it. It has a very, it has very little scent and what scent it does have is an odd scent. It's just more menthol than anything. But what I like about it is it goes away the scent goes away immediately so that it doesn't interfere with what we're fixing to do next and that is use the breakfast group splash with just a little bit of the sterling glacial unscented added to that so that I have more menthol I'm just a, I'm a menthol holic I guess you call me so I put some of this breakfast group splash in my palm of my hand and then I just add a couple of splashes of this sterling unscented. Mm -mm -mm. Boy, that, that is a really good scent. I like that on that uh, breakfast group soap. It's uh, the, the, the splash smells a little bit different than this just the soap I, I can't really explain it it's it's got more of a i don't know if there's any vanilla in this or not but it smells like it might have a drop or two in there there's just something a little bit different but it matches up great and it smells smells very good i highly recommend this this scent uh, and i recommend three four five soap company they, they make some really good soaps and uh, I think you would really enjoy um, their, their soap and their scent. There's the splash again. Just kind of doing a uh, review here of what we used. Let me wipe this razor off. This is the um, Parker variant, as I said. And it's a very nice razor. I used uh, an Astra Green or an Astra Superior Platinum, whatever you choose to call it. With a 24 millimeter Yaki synthetic brush with a um it's really close to a sinbad knot i don't think it's actually is a sinbad knot but it's real close sinbad is my favorite um synthetic knot so i use use that a lot and that's i think that's going to do it for today and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please let everybody know let the razor company know let me know give it a thumbs up comment if you have any comments to make and um uh, Go to the Razor Company and check out their products. They have a ton of stuff, just about anything you would want. Many, 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 many different brands of soap and splash. Um, give them a try. I think you'll like it. And if you're looking for a nice adjustable for a good price, you can also pick up the Parker variant there. Like I said, forty. I mean, fifty-seven dollars, which is a really good price for a for a nice heavy-duty razor that'll last and last and last. That's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like I said, please let me know. And I will talk to you guys later. Adios.